Good morning. Matthew Swigert here. Welcome. Good to see you. It's been a while since I've made video production and I'm set up in my new uh, studio here and we've got some bright morning sunlight coming in through the east doorway there. So grateful to be with you today. Today I want to just look at a couple of important exercises for the back. Now in the Qigong posture we want to build build that vertical line, the Tai Chi pole, right? There's a sense of the flow up and down. We call this the cerebral spinal fluid, right? We're, we're helping that energy to circulate through the microcosmic orbit. Good. Then I'm very interested in the structure of the body. And to that end, for these low back exercises, you want nice parallel feet, and I'm going to do a little flat back exercise here. This is really important that you're stretching your hamstrings. Yeah, get that stretch. You're going to feel this one. This is a flat back table stretch. You can do this against a wall. And you want to really drop into that. See the straightness of the back. And the bending is at the hip. Very different than bending like this. This is a round back exercise. This is a flat back. And the flat back is going to stretch your legs. And what we're looking for with these back exercises and back care is, is the leg back connection, if you will. The leg torso. See, my torso goes all the way to my tailbone. And the legs connect into the torso at the hip joint. We want to have flexibility and strength in that hip joint in order for our back muscles to be free. One of my first teachers said, your back is hurting because your legs are weak. And so this is the key understanding behind what she was saying. Your back is hurting because your legs are weak means that your back muscles are trying to do the work that your legs are designed to do. And what you have to do with these exercises is develop the strength in your legs to carry your weight so that your torso is free. You'll remember this yoga posture, which is a warrior posture. And notice what I'm doing here. It's that hip movement and strength that's important in the exercise. The back doesn't get itself involved. It's all in the knees and the thighs. Strength through the feet, grounded and rooted. The leg muscles carry the weight of your body so that your back muscles can relax. <laughs> it's that simple. So your back can be free. You build this nice strength in your legs. I'm going to do that flat back now with my legs wide. And I will show you this from the side view as well. But you see how I'm relaxing my arms. I'm relaxing my shoulders. I'm, my back is relaxed. The strength is coming from my legs in order to facilitate that. Wide leg, flat back. Do you see the connection here between the torso and the hips. And you can play a little bit with your back alignment. The back muscles are not uninvolved, but their involvement is not involved with carrying your weight. It's more with the alignment of your spine. Your legs carry your weight, not your spine. Your spinal muscles just play with the, the fluidity of the spinal curve so that your spine can be free. <sighs> Shake it out. Shake it out. That's your lesson for today for back muscle strength and health and relieving back pain.